was um, a few months back, Jim, before you jump out there. Uh, and I was uh, in contact with Face United and had some different things going. And I said, gosh, you know, it would be great to put together a concert because there's a bunch of concerts that are coming together all around. And I said, Jim, I think that's a great idea. You think you could do that? <laughs> and Jim talked to some folks, Francine and David and Kathy, and then suddenly it all started to come together. And today we gather knowing that there are 350 other concerts happening across the United States. More than, more than a thousand musicians and musical groups that are playing in churches and concert halls in places near and far, bringing us together. Kathy and I both agreed that we wanted music to carry the day today and have only a few words, so I'm going to say some words by Victor Hugo. He wrote, music expresses that which cannot be put into words and that which cannot remain silent. Friends, we come here today because it's hard to put into words what it means to us to remember all those who have been affected by gun violence. And we come here today because we know we cannot or will not remain silent. And music aids us on that journey. Sometimes music is what sustains us in the midst of all circumstances. When words fail us, when we know we can't be silent. So we're so pleased, I'm so pleased that we all could come together today in that spirit. And I thank all of you for joining with us on this day. Thank you. I just want to add my thanks. Thank you for coming in on this beautiful day. Um, I charge you with using your voice uh, in so many ways uh, so that more communities don't have to gather like this uh, again. It's enough is enough. It's long past enough is enough. So do what you can do uh, to end this. Every single day, a few minutes every day, someone else's family is affected as we have been. So let's stop it, it's time to do that. I wanted to say that this was what was on Faith United's um, website. It said, why does this matter? Can music really make a difference? And they said, we believe it can. It is one of only two universal languages that can transcend barriers and boundaries. Music is central to how we offer worship, praise, teach, and promote peace and love. Imagine the impact we're having today as hundreds of thousands of people across this nation raising their voices in song for one day and one purpose. As we together raise our voices and um, listen to our wonderful musicians raise theirs, we raise awareness among our congregations, our family and friends, our communities about the importance of preventing gun violence. At the local and national level, together we send a powerful message, collectively raising awareness across the country. This concert across America to end gun violence isn't just one big concert in one city. Through live online coverage, the national concert, and through hundreds of concerts in villages, towns, and cities across the country, we are reaching millions of people today, all to raise awareness and save lives from completely preventable gun violence. So thank you for being part of this. And I just want to add my thanks to those who are part of this day as well. Thank you to um, Don Wisman and our uh, choristers for their gifts today. Thank you to our fabulous Daryl Gregory. Thank you to Jim Allen and Rick Brodsky, and Howard Bouges, and Dick Neal, and thank you to David and Francine Wheeler. As well. I wanted to 
thank Bob Hendrickson and his assistant John for all the sound. And I want to thank Maddie Wheeler for all of the love from the back of the room. And now, here comes the sun.